It does take us to our talk of the tape. Rally and risk. Whether the latter is increasing as the S&P keeps rising and some big name stocks go parabolic. Let's ask Adam Parker. He is the founder and CEO of Trivariate Research, a CNBC contributor. Good to see you. Great to be here. Are you, do you marvel at this market like just about everybody else? I think the, the bull case we talked about, gross margins can go up for the average company. You'll think earnings are growing in the middle of this year, next year, and so forth, and that the Fed's likely to be accommodative. Um, that, that cocktail's still in place. I mean, valuations have moved a lot, but as you know, valuation is never a good predictor of near, near term return. It's about believing the economy is going to be uh, in reasonably good shape, and I, I think the data points support that. So, so, so you, think that, yeah. you think that the the environment, all of the things that you said, plus you know other things you didn't mention that are potentially positive, support the stock market at these prices? As long as I think gross margins can go up and earnings are growing, I think history dictates being reasonably optimistic on equities is a good idea. And I can't find other asset classes that give me exposure to things like the top 20 U.S. equities. I mean, we, we talk about that all the time. The biggest 20 U.S. equities grow their net income at 15 percent per year. So what else do you see that that's awesome, that you can, that's big and liquid and all that? So I think it's, it's, it's a good risk reward. What am I worried about? Maybe China gets worse. That's really hard to wrap your arms around. Maybe the U.S. consumer slows. We've seen a little discover, some little signs that the low-end consumer is slowing. you got to monitor that. Um, I'm worried that, you know, that, that maybe you could get the balance sheet stuff from the Fed, you know, kind of offsetting some of the accommodation of I mean, it's not, nothing ever feels, you always feel, as we talked about a million times, you always, always sound smarter when you're bearish. But I think if you think margins are going up, you should stay optimistic. And I see so many things I want to buy in the equity market underneath. Really? Yeah. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah. Um, before, before we go underneath, I want, to, I want to stay above, Okay. so to speak. Let's cruise, um, cruise at altitude. The, the two E's, exuberance yeah. and euphoria. Yeah. Uh, you worried about either of those? Look, I'll, what I do all day long is I talk to uh, portfolio managers and CIOs and, and, and big, you know, uh, senior people at corporations. I don't see a lot of, uh, uh, you know, champagne and Maybox or whatever you want to call it. I, I think people are you sold. looking around Nvidia's uh, corporate headquarters. Yeah, uh, well, there's some Maybox in, yeah, the, uh, I think, I think AI, in the corporate parking I, lot there. I, I think, yeah, I think you picked, uh, you know, a stock that's been, uh, you know, a monster. And, you know, we've talked about it a lot on your show that. Um, you need exposure to AI. If you're a fund manager and your, your boss says to you five years from now, what did you own for exposure to AI? And your answer is zero, you're fired. So you have to look around at the nine or ten businesses that participate. We're in the first inning of a, of a multi-year trend, and they're, they're a winner. Is all, everyone thinks that they're the genius that's going to call the, the right part of that lightning bolt. And they think today is the first part of lightning bolt, they're going to sell it. And the, that stock's proven no wrong. Like, that's an early trend. So I, I'm not smart enough to get that right. I just know we're headed. We, we talked no, about but, it but, you know, but you, you're a former chip analyst. Yeah. I mean, you, you know chips better than most people. Yeah. And uh, somebody else used the inning analogy with me earlier saying yeah. this first inning of AI. I said, well, if you look at NVIDIA, they're doing like nine innings worth of gains <laughs> in the first inning. Yeah. You can't keep that pace up. No, you can't, you can't keep the pace up for sure uh, in terms of the amount. But when I look at it, and we did a big note on it today, actually, like when is the time to toggle to the industrial-centric semis from the AI-centric semis? That, that's the title of our note today. Like and, the NXPs yeah, and the ADI Texans coming up, Texan, microchip. Semis. Yeah, great businesses. They all guide it down. They all have way too much inventory. They have more broad-based economic exposure and don't have a lot of AI. You know, it's hard to own them when I don't think gross margins can go up and they have a lot of inventory. What I could still sink my teeth into this AI trend for the time being. I think at some point you'll want exposure to them to the good businesses. I just think it's it's too early. So, I, I, look, our call coming in the year was to like, uh, you know, software that is accelerating growth and to like AI-centric semis, avoid the industrials. I think that's still right. Um, I do worry about the EV to gross profit or the valuation, but I know that's not the leading variable I can use to pick stocks.